Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly connect your domain, be it on any different platform or hosting site, to your HubSpot. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this, quite simple. And the first thing that you guys need to do is you want to make sure that you're logged in to your HubSpot account as an administrator. So as you can see here, I'm currently on the dashboard. And the idea here is when we want to go to connect our domain here, we'd want to click on the gear icon at the very top right corner of the screen. So it's this one right here next to the help icon, question mark, as well as the notification bell or uh, bell icon on our HubSpot. So I'm going to click on this and it should redirect us to this page right here where we get to fully configure the settings for our account. And the idea here is uh, you guys would want to navigate to the tool section. And the thing about this is uh, the website and domains tab or configuration is actually a bit obscure when it comes to finding it. So you can see that um, under your preferences, there's general, there's notifications. Under account setup, there's uh, these settings right here, integrations, tracking codes, so on and so forth. And you don't really see uh, the domains tab right away. <clears throat> so the place that you guys would want to be at is uh, this one right here, tools. And um, once you guys are at tools, you'll be met with um, four, uh, eight options, actually. Meetings, calling, inbox, marketing, content, payments, AI assistance, and chat spot. Now from here, you guys would want to select content, click on the drop down, and you'll see right away that there's an option for domains and URLs. So we're going to simply click on this and should redirect us to this page right here where we have an option to buy a domain or connect one. So if we have one, if we have an existing domain connected to a hosting site or hosting platform, like let's say Hostinger or Bluehost or GoDaddy, then um, that's definitely an option. So we would just click on connect a domain or we could also buy a domain. And the thing is, uh, uh, HubSpot is actually, um, uh, seamlessly integrated into GoDaddy's system, so it's very easy to find a domain if we were to select one from GoDaddy. However, in this case, we're going to connect one from uh, Hostinger or any hosting site really, so we're going to click on connect a domain, and you'll met, be met with two options here, being um, primary or email sending, so you just want to make your selection here. I'm going to do primary, click and connect, and then you want to enter the domain so this will pertain to the name server, uh, the domain name, as well as the IP and stuff. So basically just follow the on screen instructions here. It's a three-step process for the domain, verification, and the hosting setup. And once you guys are done with that, simply, simply click on connect and you should be done. And that's really all it takes. Now, um, I should say that um, to actually have a successful um, setup for connecting your domain, you want to make sure that um, on the hosting site that you have your domain unlocked to make the transfer happen. And yeah, that's really all it takes. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. So yeah, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.